Hey class, this is Gigi. I am going over the derivative cards and this is problem number 11 on the red derivative cards. Okay, so there are um, two things being involved here. We have a product, okay, a, um, a product here, okay, and we have a quotient here. Okay, now the main, uh, the main uh, part of this is a quotient. Okay, so we have a quotient rule where in order to um, take the derivative of the denominator, you need to apply the product rule there. Okay, so here we go. Quotient rule said the derivative of a quotient is on the bottom, that would be g squared. The numerator would be derivative of the first times the second minus derivative of the second times the first. And then you have the product rule. And the product rule said um, you would have derivative of the first times the second plus the derivative of the second times the first. So those are the two rules that you are using in addition to knowing the basic derivative of um, a power function and the derivative of e to the x. So we know the derivative of x to the n power is going to be n x to the n minus 1, and then the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. Okay, so those are the things that you need to know in order to complete this problem. All right, here we go. So the derivative of y with respect to x is all over, we know that, the denominator is squared, that would be x squared, e to the x, and then squared. The derivative of the first, which would be the derivative of x plus 1, the derivative of x is 1, the derivative of 1 is 0, so you have 1 multiplied by the denominator x squared times e to the x minus the derivative of the denominator multiplied by the numerator, which is x plus 1. Now, I leave a lot of room here because I know I have to apply the product rule. Okay, so the derivative of x squared e to the x is 2x e to the x plus e to the x multiplied by x squared. Okay, that's the product rule inside there. So, what we will have now, derivative of y with respect to x is all over, we have x to the fourth power, e to the 2x, if we want to simplify that, Okay, and then we would go ahead and distribute and combine like terms if we could. This would be x squared e to the x. And when we distribute, we would have minus 2x squared e to the x. That would be this right here. Minus that would be 2x e to the x. And then we would have plus x to the third power e to the x and then we would have plus x squared e to the x. Okay, how many x squared e to the x do we have? That's this one, this one, and that one. Okay, well 2 positive minus 2, that's going to just be 0 out. So all we have left is negative 2x e to the x divided um, plus x to the third e to the x. We can divide each one of those by x e to the x to simplify further, right? Okay, so that would be one of the x is gone. So dy dx is equal to, let's do the denominator first because it's simpler. If you divide out an x and e to the x, you would have x to the third e to the x. And then on the numerator, this one x is going to be gone here. And so you will have negative 2 e to the x 
and then one of the x will get divided out. You will have x squared, and then e to the x divided out. So uh, actually, you don't have e to the x here because you actually divide out e to the x. So that will just be negative 2 plus x squared all over x to the third times e to the x. And that is the simplest form of the derivative. And it's kind of amazing how it works out algebraically. It looks complicated, right? Um, but don't let the algebra bog you down. Make sure you apply the derivative rules correctly. Uh, expand, combine like terms, simplify as much as possible.